To the nation with the mightiest rocket power belongs the conquest of space. The F-1 engine is a liquid fuel rocket engine. It is the highest thrust rocket engine that NASA has ever flown. It generated 1.5 million pounds of thrust. Five of these engines sat on the bottom of the first stage of the Saturn V rocket, which carried American astronauts to the moon. By the mid-1950s, the U.S. military was very concerned about Soviet launch capability. The Soviets had demonstrated that capability in October of 1957 with the launch of Sputnik. This prompted the United States to accelerate the development of liquid propellant rocket engine technology. And that's how you get the F-1. All of NASA's launch vehicles during the Cold War were based on military launch vehicles. The F-1 engine is a direct descendant of this military rocket propulsion technology. The real technological challenge was to scale up to such a high thrust to give that extra punch to get the astronauts to the moon. A rocket engine is a controlled explosion. So there's this tension between pushing the technological state of the art and also maintaining safety and reliability. The F-1 is no longer a drawing board dream. It exists now. The F-1 engines carried the entire launch vehicle from ground to an altitude of about 40 miles in two and a half minutes. Then those engines shut down and just fell back to Earth and landed in the ocean. They're just single-use engines. The second stage ignited and carried the rest of the vehicle forward. The last lunar mission was in 1972. After that, the F-1 engine no longer had a purpose because the Saturn V was taken out of service. The lunar program was over. And by the time the Apollo program ended in 72, NASA administrators are looking for the next big thing. And they shift from disposable rocketry to reusable rocketry. Economic space flight, the space shuttle. It's a whole different paradigm. So the F-1 really has no home anymore. Over the past several years, NASA has gone back to the F-1, 50 plus year old technology, and re-engineered it for the possibility of using that technology for the next generation launch vehicle. 